But before we prepare for the offering, to talk a little bit about why it is so important to give, we will hear a few words from Stacia Sanders and an assistant, I think. Good morning. I'm Stacia Sanders. This is my assistant, Reese. Is my other assistant coming or no? No? Okay. Oh, I have a bonus assistant. Okay. Eliza. Um, I started coming to Seaview in 2014, right after we moved from Kentucky, and we knew no one here. We had no family here. We were not in the military, so there was zero military support set up for us because that's not us. I'm also a homeschool mom, so I knew that we were going to need community when we moved here. Um, I had a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a zero, you know, I think he was seven months old when we moved here, so I was packing a baby in a sling, dragging a two-year-old, and a four-year-old was splitting every time he got a chance. So uh, we needed some help. Um, when we first came to Seaview, I think one of my kids tried to run across the street and some random member, I believe it was Louise, um, grabbed my four-year-old's hand and walked him across the street and got us to our minivan. And that was when I knew it was going to be the place for us to stick around. So <laughs> there were random people who didn't know us from Adam who were willing to help step in and make sure my kid didn't get squashed like a bug. Um, so after, um, after we got used to the nursery, which has been very vital for me to be able to participate in all of the things that I do here, um, Celine became one of my best friends. Um, my kids were able to find friends in the nursery. My daughter found one of her best friends. <laughs> and um, I was able to participate in things like choir, which has been such a big part of my religious experience here at Seaview. Um, I joined the Racial Justice Task Force. I um, became part of the Covenant of Unitarian Universalist Pagans, which has allowed me to explore my spirituality, which growing up in the Bible Belt wasn't really a thing. Um, so that's, that's really allowed me to stretch and figure out what exactly I want to do personally and spiritually. So um, I'm going to let the kids tell you things that they like about coming to church because fun things at church are important to get kids to keep coming back and fun things also cost money. So the things that we do have to be paid for with pledges and being a homeschool mom, there's not a whole lot of money on my part coming into the household. So we started really small with our pledges and it's going up a little bit every year because I'm able to see how much we can put into the pot for the things that myself and my kids do here in the community at Seaview. Reese, what's your favorite thing that you do here? Buddy breakfast. What was it? Buddy breakfast. Buddy breakfast. So if you haven't experienced a buddy breakfast, the kids get to eat breakfast, pancake breakfast, with the older members of Seaview. Eliza, what's one of your favorite things? Um, probably one of my favorite things about coming here is getting to see uh, my friends that come. Um, hello. <laughs> hello, friends. Both here. Um, mm -hmm. And I just really like um, being able to see my friends and coming to the service with them. So RE programs and Chalice Camp have big, been a big part for our kids as well. So anyway, everything that we do here to get kids to keep coming back is worth it because, again, the kids are the future of the church. So really appreciate everyone who pledges and keep doing it because we're growing. Thank you.